Hello and a very warm welcome back to episode 3 of the Valley of the Old Farm with me, Wasteland Gaming. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm. Oh, trying not to run over these chickens. Uh, and the Vintage Farming series. We've got... Um, I've just literally just finished off putting some more grain into the chickens. Uh, I decided to put grain in as well as the um, as well as the lettuce and oh, wrong one as well as the lettuce and uh, gray, uh, corn because yeah I wasn't quite sure whether we needed all three so I've put everything in anyway um, and the grain I had was from the contracts we've been doing also over here we have a small pile of stones about 900 liters of stones there and now this field over here has been finished so we were just uh, we were just getting onto that at the end of the last episode so that is done the apple trees up here I have um, fully watered as well so all the apple trees up here have got water on them um, and they all take 12,000 litres so as you can imagine it was a lot of to and fro in with the water tanker so I actually put in another outside tap up here as well um, so that's given us um, apples producing on all these trees now so we've got various amounts obviously depending on how quickly I got the water into them so 23 litres up to uh, down to about 10 litres and in here this is all doing quite nicely um, what I will do is maybe chuck one more of these in. There we go. Uh, just keep that topped up. And um, yeah, we'll probably have to buy some more straw for that. I also put the bales just under cover. Um, so they're out the way up here. And they're just sitting nicely um, doing their thing. So what we need to do today, um, at the moment you probably notice my... Uh, yeah my money is going down slowly the reason being is I have a harvesting contract going over on field 33 which is uh, right up in the top right corner there you can see the the worker flashing away he needs a uh, he actually needs emptying bollocks fit so we'll have to do that soon but what I was going to do um, is I was just going to service all this stuff there we go um, and I have installed myself a little jet wash as well so what we'll do we'll go and get this uh, this stuff cleaned off and put away the vent over here is obviously uh, looking pretty dirty but it is in need of fuel as well so I've got 2,000 litres of fuel in here so as well as we may as well top this up there we go I've already got 3.3 .3 hours on this uh, tractor uh, and two on this one so yeah it's all ticking along so over here I have myself the smallest jet wash in the world so let's give it a go let's see if it works seems pretty good to me go so give this a good clean and then what we need to do is we need to get ourselves to the stores. What I would like to do now, we've got that uh, field stone picked. I want to get it um, seeded, I want to get it drilled. So what we're going to do, we're going to get... Um, we need to go up to the stores and we need to get some seed. Now, what I've also decided is, because I know where a few of these uh, collectibles are, I am going to start... Um, start picking them up every every so often I'm not going to pick them all up at once probably one an episode maybe um, but they are worth quite a bit of money so I think the money I get from them I'm going to invest in land I think and that's going to give me um, new fields which in turn will obviously make us some money so I think that's the plan now I do know where I'm going to get the first one from and uh, it does involve a ladder <laughs> so we're going to buy ourselves a ladder as well so I think uh, where are we going to put these 
I'll go and put these away. And then what I'll do is I'll grab the Mercedes and we're going to take the Mercedes up to the stores because I'm going to change the back on it as well. So the back on it um, isn't great um, as we found out on the first episode all my bales disappeared in it so um, I think we'll probably just get rid um, and then that's gonna we'll get the flatbed for it um, and it's going to give us a little bit more storage or reliable storage on that machine so right I'm gonna leave that oh there oh that's not so good is it okay so yes we'll get the Mercedes and we'll take it up to the uh, up to the stores so we'll see you up there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just attach this to the cedar here and I might find the weight and then yeah this will be good to go okay so the worker has got uh, is back on it they're doing the, the harvest I emptied the harvester it was completely full so that's uh, done and it's 72% uh, complete so we're almost there so I think what we'll do um, we need to go over here I think is where we uh, get rid of stuff isn't it so somewhere around here there we go so repaint that and sell that and that's given us an empty back again there we go so it's given us four grand back for that so what we need to do then is I need to go and see the guys in here and we need to get some seed and uh, we need to see if they've got a back for that as well so let's have a look can we get in here yep right service service okay so we've managed to get ourselves a flatbed back 5700 euros for that we've bought some seed so it was 1200 euros for that and there's a uh, 1200 litres of seed there I've loaded them up with the leave here and then down here we have our ladder that I said we we're going to buy to try and find some of these collectibles now ooh, this ladder is a little unruly the collectible first collectible is in here so let's have a look so right up here in the rafters let's see if we can get up here I don't think it's going to be that easy but there it is look oh I missed it missed it missed it missed it let's try again is this going to work I might have to use the telehandler to get to this we shall see. No. That ladder's too small as well. Right, well, I hope... Oh, now I'm flying. Great. <laughs> oh, as soon as you hit record, it never works properly, does it? Never mind. Right. I'm going to leave this on here because we will probably use it for the other other collectibles at some point so lock that on there hopefully that'll stay and let's jump in this so as I said first collectibles in here and as you can see they are all birds they are racing pigeons as far as I'm aware so let's go up here let's see if we can get into it this way alright no I 
Oh, all right. Right, collect. There we go. Oh, cool. You have found a competition pigeon. Okay, 50k result. Okay, so that's the first one. <laughs> that took way. That was way harder than it needed to be. Oh, right. Okay, let's uh, put this back round the corner. And store this over here. Right, that um, harvester must have finished by now. After all that faffing, my word. Okay, right. Wrong side. There we go. That's oh, noisy, this thing. Okay, so what I will do is I will turn that off. I will get go and get the harvester uh, harvest contract finished then I will see you down at our farm and we'll go and get some alfalfa into the... why is that not strapped? Yeah, we'll get some alfalfa into I'm go and get some alfalfa into the ground I'll then obviously have to roll it as well, which uh, was going to take us a little while, but yeah, it'll be worth it in the end. So, with that 50,000, I will have a contemplate on what field we're going to buy as well. Or it might be, might be, well, we could say either buy fields or production buildings, because I will need some. I'll definitely need the grain mill at some point um, because we'll need to make flour um, for our bakery and I will need to possibly make the sugar by the sugar mill at some point but yeah well it's a little way off yet let's get this alfalfa in the ground right then what a faff we are having this episode. Never mind. So, I'm back down at the farm. We have the Azarius, um, Azaria Cedar uh, attached to the Zetor. The Zetor has been refuelled. I have found the way to it's all on there. Uh, the Mercedes is back down here. I've took the ladder off and I've put it over there somewhere. Um, just in one of the sheds. And our seed is here. I have also... The contract is now completed on this. We have 1,046 litres of oats left over from the contract, which is good. So we may as well collect on that. Uh, I'll do there. And then, yeah, we've got a few more contracts here. The ploughing ones I should really do just to get the fields up to scratch. Um, but um, I don't feel our plough is up to the up to the job really just now. So might have to think about that one um, but let's uh, get this on off of here get that into this have to do it the other way. Let's test it. Hmm. Right. Oh, it goes in like that. That's fine. There we go. Perfect. Close that up. Turn that on. And let's get over to the field. More like cockerel almost run it over that time. Won't be happy with me then. 
there's our stones just in the corner there. Just out of the way. Oh, glass bumpy. Right then, well let's get going with this. So, get this lined up. Uh, make sure it's on the correct one. There we go, alfalfa. And away it goes. Nice. The old Zetor, power of the Zetor. It's working, isn't it? That's good. I didn't know whether it would pull this uh, pull this drill, but it's managing. There we go. So I think what we'll do, we'll set up a bit of a yeah, we'll get a time lapse on this one so you can see the whole field getting done, and then uh, yeah, I will bring you back in when we start rolling. I think. Uh, what I will do is I'll probably won't show you all the rolling on the screen just because it's going to take a while but yeah we'll definitely make a start on it um, uh, and put that as part of the time lapse too I think but yeah this shouldn't take too long 20 minutes something like that we shall see Final sections of this field to do then, and yeah, it's taken us, like I said, it was about 20 minutes in real time, so we're there, we're getting there, and uh, it's definitely getting dark as well, so I'm gonna have to, yeah, finish this uh, rolling off in the dark, I think, and then, um, yeah, we'll rest overnight after that. So, is that the field completed? 
I think it probably is. Got any other bits in here? No. It's looking pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. Right. So. Let's get ourselves back round. And uh, we'll take this off. This uh, drill off. And we'll get the roller on. Uh, let's do some repairs to this track. It's a bit bumpy and wet, isn't it? Right, there we go. So, round here is our cedar. So, lower that down. Drop that off. There we go. Uh, if we reverse this in here, we should be able to get onto our cedar. Our rusty old cedar. Go, okay. nice. So I will put that uh, drill back where it came from, but we need to get this field dr uh, see, uh, rolled before the night is done. So let's come back out of cam, out of cab again. There it goes. Nice. Perfect. Right. Running a wee bit faster like this as well. So what I'll do is I'll get this done and uh, we'll rest overnight and we'll um, see you in the morning I guess. But yeah, it shouldn't take too long. This another 15 minutes or so. Right. See you in the morning. Good morning everybody, it's a little bit cloudy outside but we're up at the stores and yeah I've obviously got all the rolling done so that field um, is finished. I'm up at the stores because we've bought ourselves something, bought myself a little fertiliser um, sprayer um, so very very cheap and certainly in keeping with our vintage <laughs> series um, so yeah we've got that um, very very cheap about 1400 for that I think and um, the, the fertilizer itself costs more money and then I have also bought myself a front fork a dedicated front fork for the vent as well so let's uh, get this on here first go and uh, we'll get this attached Okay, may as well fill that up. Only takes 300 litres, but that's that is fine. That is all good. Um, and then what we'll do, we'll transport the IBC back with us as well. I was trying to find an older style um, IBC, but there isn't really anything. Um, I guess there is one mod that I could potentially install. Um, I've not got it installed just now, um, so we might use that. We'll see. Um, but this will do for now. There we go, and we'll get ourselves back to our farm because what we need to do is put some fertilizer on our new uh, alfalfa field. But we also need to put some fertilizer on our. Uh, on our uh, sunflowers as well actually uh, before it's too late so we'll get that done so we'll see you down at the farm and we'll quickly get that done um, like I said we've got uh, don't want this episode to overrun too much I want to keep it to the half hour mark um, so we've probably just about got time for to start that um, and yeah let's see where we end up I just want to say uh, I apologise for the sleepiness of the first part of this episode and um, this is the second go at recording and the first part uh, on uh, editing it and looking back at it I was very very slurry uh, with my speech and you know, it was a bit all over the place um, and I made quite a few mistakes so um, yeah hopefully this is a little bit more uh, a little bit more lively and a little bit more um, awake 
Okay, fantastic. We've got the Zetor attached to the sprayer and I've put narrow tyres on the sprayer as well. It's not going to make any difference to the alfalfa here, but um, certainly the sunflowers over there it will. So let's get this unfolded. There we go. Nice. And uh, get ourselves down here and we'll, uh, we'll get going. Before we do that though, I said I was going to buy, buy some sort of field, didn't I? So let's quickly do this. Been having a look around, so all these fields around us have got grass in them, so I think that might be quite a sensible thing to do. We can sell some silage, make a bit of money off that, and also it's going to give us grass and hay for um, our sheep and potentially cows in the future, so uh, always handy. This field here though is 145,000, it's got loads of wheat in it, um, so yeah, I'm a bit... What's that? That's 80. Uh, what else have we got? We've got some other fields over here as well. But I think... Yeah, let's just stay close for now. I did think about this one as well. We might buy that the next, um, which is um, a, a soybean field, which would be quite handy too. So we'll see how we do. We'll need to find more pigeons. <laughs> so we'll buy that. There we go. So we've got a grass field to fertilise, no doubt, as well now. As well. So we'll get that done. So that's uh, not going to be too bad, I don't think. We'll get this done, and then we can move on to um, move on to our next bit, which will be uh, the sunflowers. So, like I said, I don't want this episode to drag on too long, so, in fact, that doesn't look like it's doing anything. Let's uh, quickly check this. Uh, Fertilisation. So, oh, it is doing it. There we go. Oh, actually, this doesn't need fertilising, that's good. Okay, or, or our grass field. Nice, so we're fully fertilised on both those fields, that's good, isn't it? Okay, in that case, we just need to do this one. That's, that's even better. So, I'm going to do a, a pass along this way as well. And then once we've done that, we'll go up and down the field, I think. Try and minimise the overlap. There we go. Yeah, nice wee sprayer. Like I said, dirt cheap. And, uh, yeah, I think it's a, is it an 8 metre working width on this as well, which is uh, pretty handy. So, yeah, be more than perfect for this farm just now. We will have to get something bigger eventually, but, um, yeah, for now, it will do us proud. And we will keep using it until such time as we need to get bigger equipment. And there's the challenge, is finding bigger, older equipment. So the option could be I have multiple tractors with the same sprayer. Instead of 8 metres, we'd have a 16 metre working width if we had two tractors on the go with this thing. Two of these. But yes, it's a little way off yet. We're still setting ourselves up, really, at the moment. But I think next episode we'll get some sheep. I think that'd be good. We'll get, try and get some sheep on the go. Uh, I've got the feed for them. Um, and uh, yeah, if we can start producing wool, that'd be great. The other thing I'm thinking about is maybe investing in some bees as well, get some honey on the go, uh, and that will um, obviously give us another income stream, plus we can use that for, um, there we go, look at that, so we can start getting uh, honey for our production buildings when we finally buy them as well. Are uh, over there, there we go. So, I'm going to continue on with this, we'll get this finished, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Like I said, I'll get this done off screen, and then, yeah, we'll come back to you. Um, I might do a couple more contracts off screen as well, um, and then we'll come back to you, probably, yeah, I'll keep going until it, it rate it stops raining, I think, or starts raining, and then, yeah, we'll then move on to next episode and as I said we'll uh, 
we'll uh, play it by ear. But, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have done, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. And if you want to share or comment, you are more than welcome to. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But in the meantime, from the Valley of the Old Farm, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you very soon. All the best.